going to be talking about intrusive thoughts as well as obsessive sexual thinking. If this is something that is interesting to you, then I will delve deeper into it. Um, my name is Dr. Dawn Michael, and this is my YouTube channel, and we talk about sexuality and all things that have to do with sexual issues, and I help to resolve problems that people may be having as well as to inform you. You can visit me on my website, thehappyspouse.com, where I do answer questions and set up individual private appointments. Now let's get back to the topic at hand. So intrusive thoughts are something that comes into your brain that makes you feel bad that you think about on a daily basis. Now intrusive thoughts could have started when you were younger and they can change over time. And some people report that when they get older, past puberty, they may start to experience intrusive sexual thoughts, um, thinking about something sexually over and over again, and then feeling as though they are shaming themselves, they feel bad about it, or there simply is something wrong with them. And this can be a big problem because it's hard to resolve an intrusive sexual thought because it's confusing to begin with when we talk about sexuality. Now examples of this may be someone who has been watching porn and they see a particular fetish that all of a sudden turns them on. They can't stop thinking about it. Uh, they can't stop thinking that maybe there's something wrong with them because they can't stop thinking about it. It could be that you are a straight person, a heterosexual person, and you have watched something that has turned you on that you feel now you are homosexual, or that maybe you have a problem with a particular sexual disorder that you are labeling yourself with because you are thinking about it over and over and over again. The good thing is that there's help for this. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are labeling yourself, that you are what you are obsessing about. It simply means that your mind won't let go of it until you try to resolve it. And this is something that I talk with clients about is it's not always about resolving the issue, but learning how to deal with the intrusive thoughts themselves and understanding why you're having them. Uh, for more information on this, again, you can visit me on my website. And if you have a comment and this is something that you've struggled with, we'd love to hear what you have to say. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As you know, I believe everyone deserves to have a healthy sex life, and so do you.